hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is gonna be about who wants to contact you and what they would like to say okay so who wants to contact you and what they would like to say so we're going to be using the radiant wise spirit tarot for the card selections okay so who wants to contact you and what they would like to say who wants to contact you so pile number one we have the queen of swords pile number two we have the two of wands and then pile number three Okay, that's two cards pile number three we have the ace of cups okay so pile number one queen of swords pile number two two of wands and pile number three the ace of cups okay so pause this video if you must and meditate on the card that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamp in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi pal one, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the queen of swords. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings. So my pile number one, if you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I'll be listing them in the description box below, okay? So let's get started. Pile number one. Who wants to contact you and what they would like to say so with the queen of swords I'm getting this is somebody who's calculative in their move okay when they make a decision when they make um, any type of move they think it through this person could be a little bit cold at times like they they do a lot of head over heart decision okay who wants to contact you my pal number one Ooh, three of swords we have the hair font this could be somebody that you were in a relationship with this person's heartbroken we have the knight of pentacles yeah this person is slow to make a move this person could be a taurus here we have the page of cups we have the five of pentacles somebody that you left out in the cold maybe they were not sincere when they tried to apologize to you for something that they did with the page of cups in reverse i'm getting like this somebody that could be in the spotlight or could have like a prestigious position with the hair font but you left this person out in the cold this is somebody from your past with the six of cups so somebody that you no longer see eye to eye with we have the queen of swords at the bottom of the deck again so definitely could be an air sign or have air element in their chart who wants to contact you we have the star aquarius energy this person wants to heal this connection i'm getting like this person misses you we have the page of swords they spy on you they're taking notes yeah you go to this this person with the hermit here this person could be a virgo or a taurus here or an aquarius okay yeah this person i feel like also I feel like this person betrayed your trust and they were not like I'm really getting like they were not sincere with their apology. Yes, and I say betrayed your trust and the ten of swords come out. As I said that this card I'm flipping and this comes out. This person betrayed your trust. They backstabbed you. They probably spread lies about you with the page of swords as well. I'm getting like a friend. Wow. <laughs> the three of cups comes out. Yes, it's a friend. It's a friend of yours from the past, childhood friend that wants to reconcile with you. But I'm getting like, this already happened and 
they tried to apologize to you, but it was not sincere because the page of cups is in reverse. So it was not a sincere apology. Sorry about that, pal number one. My video just cut when I was doing this. So yeah, the apology was not sincere. Okay. This person was not sincere. Who wants to contact you? We have the moon here. They have some sort of secret that they're keeping from you. That's what it is, okay? Or they betrayed your secret. Like I said, this person betrayed your trust and they're hiding something. We have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like maybe this person wants to contact you regarding money. Maybe they stole some money from you with the page, uh, with the Ace of Pentacles. That's why they want to contact you. They want to ask you, they want to borrow money again. So who wants to contact you? Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. I feel like this person used a lot of emotional manipulation here with the King of Cups, okay? They were like stingy. They were selfish with you, selfish with um, in this connection. Like they were not giving en enough. You see, we have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck again. This person was not giving enough. Like they were taking more. Wow. I just flipped and then the ace of swords comes out. This person was taking more than they were giving in this connection. Okay. You were doing all the legwork. You were doing, putting all the effort in this connection to make it work while this person was just breadcrumbing you. Whether it's a friend or a lover, an ex lover, I'm really getting that vibe from this person. And they emotionally manipulated you a lot with the king of sword, with the king of cups. Who wants to contact you? We have the Knight of Swords. Who wants to contact you? We have the Three of Pentacles. And I see a friend, somebody that you were working with. Okay, Three of Pentacles. Somebody you collaborated with. And I said a lover. I did say like it's either an um, ex-friend or also a lover. And maybe this person betrayed you. Like your lover betrayed you with your friend. The Ten of Swords is here. There's definitely some sort of backstabbing betrayal and they did it too quickly with the Knight of Swords. They didn't think this through. We have the Three of Wands. Like I'm I'm getting like this person is like plotting and planning a way to come and talk to you and the Queen of Swords again. In this deck and now in this deck. I'm telling you this person is an air sign who have a lot of air in the element in their chart and this person is calculative in their move they think things through before they do it okay it's like this person likes to play like maybe this person plays chess so it's like everything is like a game for them okay it's not really serious i'm getting with this person who wants to contact you wow the ten of swords is here again yeah this person backstabbed you it's definitely like I'm getting a friend or a lover with the four swords. Somebody that you used to celebrate with. Somebody that you trusted with your secrets. You trusted with your dearest secrets. You know, like you told them everything about yourself. You were vulnerable with this person. The ten of swords is here again. I'm really getting like an ex with a friend. An ex with a friend that did this. You see the king of swords is out and the king of wands. Yeah, I'm getting like it's a friend and an ex. They worked in cahoots together to do this. And we have the King of Swords here and we have the Queen of Swords. So um, earlier, because when they cut, I was saying that there could be a friend and a lover or a like a couple friends, like a friends that are a couple. Okay, because the Queen and the King of Swords is here and the devil came out and the lovers came out before the video, like when the video cut and I was talking, those cards came out and now the King of Swords is coming out again. I'm getting like, this could be like somebody that you work together. Yeah, it's something to do with money and you see the Queen of Wands is here. I'm telling you, it's like people that work in codes together. It's multiple people that want to contact you. It's not just one person. It's a group of people that worked against you, that betrayed you. Some of them, it could have been like some sort of money that they stole from you, some sort of idea, because we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So maybe you come from a prestigious family or you have a, a lot of like your, your networking, um, like, you know, the people that you know are affluent people I'm getting. Yeah, you block these people with the Seven of Wands. It's some sort of creative idea as well. 
with the the ace of wands is all about creativity sexual energy okay you block these people for some reason okay they're trying to steal something from you it could be people that you worked in a project together because the two of cups could represents like partnership too it doesn't have to be relationship okay they're waiting. This people, these people are waiting with the seven of pentacles. They're waiting for the right moment to come and talk to you. Yes, you see, I'm cutting the deck. Ace of Swords, the truth. Okay. Why they want to talk to you? Why they want to talk to you? We have the King of Pentacles because you are financially stable. I'm telling you, there's something about you that they want that they are not getting, and they're plotting. Is multiple people plotting together to get this from you, out of you. They betrayed you the first time and now they are trying to do it again. We have strength here. You're strong. You have like integrity here. Maybe they need you for the initial project and they're going to want to get you out. You see, their apology is not sincere. We have the page of cups in reverse. So they apologize to you. They're trying to apologize to you and come out of the cold with you. Okay, they're trying to come out of that that trap that they're in with the eight of swords. I feel like these people are like trapped in fear or something like that, or they're unable to progress, so they want to apologize to you so that way they could come back in your good grace and get some sort of like connection from you, or yeah, like I feel like you are like the connect and they're trying to get to you to get the abundance. Okay, they have to come through you. They cannot get it on their own or they don't have the manpower or the brain or like they don't have what it, what it takes to bring this idea to fruition. They may have stolen the idea and tried to execute it, but they couldn't execute it like you did. So this is why they want to come back and apologize. It's like a fake apology with the page of sword, page of uh, page of cups in reverse. Why do they want to contact you? Ten of swords, three times, guys, three times, three different decks. The ten of swords came out three times. Six of Cups, people from your past. Because they know they backstabbed you. They know they betrayed you. That's why they want to contact you. And they want to make it seem like everything's okay, but it's not. And their apology, you know deep down in your heart, it's not sincere. Okay, who wants to contact you? They don't want a cycle to end. Like, why? That's why they want to contact you. And I'm getting like, they don't want this to come out. They don't want this betrayal to come out because it may ruin their reputation. People not, may not want to work with them because you walked away with the Eight of Cups. You're no longer invested in these people. You block yourself off to these people. Why do you want to contact you? They're watching you. They're trying to steal your ideas, okay? I'm telling you, they're trying to steal something from you. They're watching you, paying attention. They're stalking you on social media, I'm getting. Trying to find, like, stalking you on fake accounts. Why do you want to? Yeah, you see, we have the four swords because they're sick. I'm getting, like, they're going through something with the four swords, okay? Their health is not up to par. And I feel like they're trying to get forgiveness from you and they're trying to get money. Ace of Pentacles. They want to get some sort of money from you. Why do they want to contact you? What do we have? Star, they're trying to heal this connection. But it's not sincere. I'm really getting like false here. They're fake. They're being fake with you. They're not trying to apologize because they're sorry. They're trying to apologize because they're trying to save face. They're trying to steal something from you. They want to backstab you again because the Ten of Swords is here three times. That's not sincerity. That's fakeness. Okay, these people are being fraudsters. I'm really getting that vibe. Okay, so we're going to be using my tarot deck that I created to find out what they would like to say. Okay, what they would like to say. So it's multiple people. It's not one person. Definitely. Because we have the three of pentacles and the three of cups. What they would like to say... What they would like to say to my pal number one. What they would like to say. Okay, wow, you think you're better than me. 
these people think like they're saying that you think you're better than them but i feel like you are you see this is fun they're not taking this serious they're not taking this serious i'm telling you these people are not serious they're not sincere about this apology they're just running their mouth they want to talk to you can we talk why they want what they would like to say Like they didn't, they didn't feel bad. They don't even feel bad right now that they did this. The Page of Cups came out twice in reverse. They don't feel bad at all. Okay. Why is it so hard to manipulate you? Didn't I say? Yo, sir, social media stalker. Didn't I say that too? They're stalking you on social media. It's hard to manipulate you. These people are like my, playing mind games with you. It's not true. They're apology and you already know that. I know deep down inside you already know. That's why you cut them off. It's like the tether source is here three times. If you're really like serious about that, it wouldn't come out three times. What they would like to say is saying I'm pregnant. Maybe that's why they're playing all these games. They're trying to get money out of you, like I said. What they would like to say we have, don't make me do this. Make you do what? Uh oh, what are you gonna do? Nothing. What they would like to say? Yeah, because they're trying to say that they're trying to play you. They're trying to do something manipulative here, okay? They're willing to do whatever it takes to get what they want from you. That's why they say, don't make me do this. The Ten of Swords is here three times. They wanna backstab you. You're out of my league. For some of you, it could be an ex involved as well, and they know that you're out of their league. Okay, and they're upset. They can't play you. What they would like to say. We have addiction. I'm telling you, there's some sort of addiction. There's some sort of secret. And I say the moon is here. There's some sort of secret that they're not telling you about. What they would like to say, what do we have here? We have emotional abuse. Maybe somebody's going through some sort of emotional abuse. We have toxic mother and we have, what is this? Be careful, you see? Spirit is telling you be careful with these people. The Ten of Swords is here three times, so definitely be careful. And the, their apology is not sincere at all. What they would like to say What they would like to say one more card i can't leave you alone yeah these people are stalking you they can't leave you alone here they can't stop watching you they can't stop keeping tabs on you okay like they're not sincere at all so if they come back any any one of them if it resonates with you any one of them that comes back to you trying to apologize tell you that they're sorry blah 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 is not true just mind games okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the two of wands. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two, if you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I'll be listing them in the description box below, okay? So let's get started, my pal number two. Who wants to contact you and what they would like to say? So with the two of wands, I'm getting this, somebody, this is somebody that has been watching you for a while from a distance. It could be online with the globe, okay, over the web. So like I'm getting, they're also keeping tabs on you. This could be somebody that you know from the past or just somebody, a brand new person that's just watching you, who has been eyeing you. Who wants to contact you? 
we have the queen of wands okay so this person may find you very attractive with the queen of wands but this is could also be somebody who's very passionate <clears throat> we have the five of swords Ooh, okay this is somebody who maybe like to argue oh okay so it could be somebody that you had an argument with because we have the seven of wands you may have blocked them somebody at your job with the three of pentacles we have the empress at the bottom of the deck yeah this is somebody that you blocked that you had some sort of argument with with the five of swords you blocked this person this could be somebody that you worked with okay it could be a boss because we have the empress the empress could also represent a boss okay a feminine figure that is a boss or it could also be a parent a mother to be specific or a mother figure it could also be a man who's operating in his feminine energy but i'm getting like you guys had an argument with this person with the five of swords here there was some sort either an argument or a misunderstanding between the two of you and you kind of like block this person either you block them or you kept them at a distance and you no longer talk to them like you used to with the three of pentacles who wants to contact you we have the um this is the king of cups who wants to contact you wow the five of pentacles is in reverse so this is somebody that you probably left out in the cold and now this person wants to come out of the cold with you we have the moon here okay so there's something that's hidden here okay this person is not telling you some some full truth yeah this is somebody who's really good at hiding their emotions with the king of cups but they're a very caring and a loving person however i feel like sometimes they may think me they may see things that may come off the wrong way okay and they may have rubbed you the wrong way I, i'm getting they rubbed you the wrong way we have the three of wands like they're planning on finding a way to talk to you however it's because of the fact that you guys had an argument that they're kind of like uncomfortable to come towards you because they don't really know how to express themselves properly i feel like this is somebody who has um issues with expressing themselves in a healthy way maybe like when they express themselves it comes off like they are arguing or they are combative really when they're not so this person is trying to like work on their communication skills we have the star here. Yeah, they want to heal this connection with you. Who wants to contact you? We have the magician. So maybe this person is manipulative or they're trying to manifest you. This person could be a Gemini or a Virgo or a Taurus or Libra, or they could be a Pisces or Cancer with a chariot here. Yeah, they're, they're controlling. I'm getting a little bit of controlling vibe. Who wants to contact you? Yes, you see Six of Cups, somebody from your past. I did sense that. This is somebody that you know. This is not a stranger. Okay, somebody from your past that try to get away from a lie, from some sort of deception that they did, okay? Or some sort of argument that you guys had or misunderstanding and you kind of put your distance from this person and they're trying to reach out. They're trying to mend this connection with the star here, okay? And they're doing it by any means necessary with the magician being here and the chariot. This person is determined with the chariot to come towards you and communicate with you to express himself in a healthy way. I feel like this person may have been to therapy to work on themselves. We have the 10 of wands. I feel like this person is burdened by the loss of this connection. Yeah, maybe this person's in poverty because the Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. Maybe this person is going through some sort of financial difficulties with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're juggling many responsibilities with the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Who wants to contact you? We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Page of Swords. So this person's spying on you. Okay. This person is very attracted to you. We have the High Priestess. There's some sort of secret here that this person is keeping from you. We have the Hangman. So this person definitely feels stuck, trapped. Okay. I'm getting like a trapped energy from this person. Like they're burdened by a lot of responsibilities that they can't manage on their own. And I feel like this person, like you used to be there for them emotionally. Like you used to be their confidant at one point. Okay. 
Yeah, this person wants to talk to you. They want to come towards you with the king with the knight of cups. They want to talk to you about their feelings. They want to apologize, even though the page of cups is not here. But I'm getting this person wants to apologize to you. Who wants to contact you? We have the knight of swords. Who wants to contact you? Somebody from your past. You see six of cups. Who wants to contact you? We have the seven of pentacles. So this person is waiting for the right moment to come and talk to you. Because I feel like there's some sort of shame or embarrassment on this person's side. Because I feel like they're kind of like embarrassed by their behavior. They like I'm I feel like this person is beating themselves up because of like they know that they could have like handled the situation much better in a more calm manner because i feel like they're the one that initiated that five of swords energy they're the one that initiated the argument and i feel like it's the way they spoke to you that made like like, like i said rubs you the wrong way you know with the with the nine of swords this person said something too, too quickly they acted way too quickly they didn't think things through before they said it and now they want to take it back okay we have the queen of wands the queen of wands is here twice so this is how they feel about you they see you as the queen of wands very attracting very alluring okay and they miss your vibe they miss your energy especially with the ace of wands this person really missed your vibe the time that you guys had together the time that you guys shared this person is reminiscing about it yeah they feel like it's a missed opportunity because you blocked them the seven of wands is here again you blocked this person you blocked them off and now they're feeling burdened by that like they want you back in their life. Who wants to contact you? Okay, that's way too many cards. Yeah, you see burden again. Who wants to contact you? Yes, this person could be selfish with the four of pentacles here, okay? But they definitely feel some type of way about you holding back from them too. Because the Seven of Wands is about holding back. And the Four of Pentacles is also about holding back. But I feel like this person also plays tit for tat type of energy. And we do have 777. 777 is like a lucky number. But it's also a warning number. Okay. And it's also a spiritual number where it's like they're a spiritual advisor type of number. Okay. So I'm getting like spirit is telling you that like it's up to you if you want to get this person back in your life. But you're going to have to use this sermon. Like do you really want that energy back even though they changed? Like you know this person better than I do. So you know if their patterns of behavior is going to be the same. Or this person is used to doing this type of things and you just had enough of it. Okay. Why do you want to contact you? Okay, we have the chariot. We have the three of cups. Yeah, like I said, you used to make this person happy. They want to bring some sort of balance with the justice here. They want to bring balance to this connection. Yeah, they want to come towards you again with the chariot. This person could be a Cancer or a Libra. But we have the three of cups. Like they remember, they reminisce about the good old days that you guys had together. The good, like the fun moments, the happy moments that you guys had. Because this, the three of cups is a card of celebration, rejoicing. We have the emperor. Yeah, this person wants to control the situation. We have the temperance. They want to bring some sort of balance. This is why they want to contact you. Why do they want to contact you? Yeah, four of cups because they feel like it's a missed opportunity and they miss you. I'm getting like this person misses you because we have the four of cups twice. So we have four of cups twice and four of pentacles. So we have four, four, four. So this is balance, harmony, okay, protection. So you are protected. So you may see this number often, four, four, four or seven, seven, seven. We have double five, okay. You're on the right path. We have four of wands at the bottom of the deck, quadruple four. So you're extremely protected here. So at the end of the day, you have free will as to whether or not you want this person back into your world. They want a second chance with the wheel of fortune. They want a, a second go around with you to be part of your life. Okay. So we're going to be using my tarot deck uh, phrases that I've created to find out what this person would like to say to you. what they would like to say to my pal number two 
what this person would like to say to my pile number two. What they would like to say. What they would like to say. Okay, wow, they're saying stop playing with my feelings. I can't get over you. No, so they feel like you're playing with their feelings. Maybe this person has tried to contact you multiple times because we have the seven of wands and they know you blocked them. So that's why they're saying stop playing with my feelings. I can't get over you. I'm really getting like an ex vibe or ex friend. Okay, we have I'm pregnant. So this person could be pregnant here. What they would like to say to my pal number two. What do we have? Unblock me now. Didn't I say you blocked this person? The seven of wands is here twice. They know that. I'm madly in love with you. You're out of my league. Wow, this person said that you're out of their league. What they would like to say to you. Yeah, this person feels like you're out of their league. What they would like to say to you. Yeah, I feel like it's the reason why they're saying that is their communication skills. Like they don't know how to communicate properly without arguing or without like being combative. Okay. This is fun. Okay. What they would like to say. Why are you ignoring me? And Spirit is saying be careful. So they're saying be careful with this person. Like, you know, use your discernment why you're ignoring me because I did see this person's a little bit controlling. Okay. So what they would like to say, what they would like to say to my pal number two, we have children. So this is why it's saying pregnant. This person could have a child or baby on the way and you don't know about it. Maybe they're trying to trap you with a child as well. So this is why they're saying, be careful. They're saying they're out of your, you're out of their league. So if this person feels like you're out of their league, they're trying to bring you down to their level. So maybe you should be careful with this person. What do we have here? Voodoo doll. Maybe that's why you need to be careful. What they would like to say. I saw sex magic and I saw baby daddy. What they would like to say. Okay. One card, please. One card. What they would like to say emotional abuse so maybe that's why because we have the five of swords the five of swords is emotional abuse as well verbal abuse so this is why you're getting be careful because this person does not know how to communicate they're combative or they 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 hit below the belt this is what I'm getting here as well. And this is why spirit is telling you to be careful. Yeah, maybe you, you still have feelings for this person. Maybe you still care for them, okay? And you, you're, you still have a place for them, a soft spot for them in your heart. But be careful because this person may have not changed. They could be emotionally manipulative because we have the Knight of Cups. This could be emotional manipulation, you know, telling you exactly what you want to hear but not being honest with their feelings, okay? And this is why spirit is telling you to be careful, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pile number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pile number two. Bye. Hi, pile three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pile number three, you picked the Ace of Cups. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, if you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I'll be listing them in the description box below, okay? So who wants to contact you and what they would like to say, my pal number three? 
So with the Ace of Cups, this is somebody who has a lot of love for you, okay? This could be like a potential suitor that wants to contact you and confess their love to you. Okay, so this the Ace of Cups is really good, okay? I'm getting a really good vibe from this person. So who wants to contact you? My pal number three. Who wants to contact you? We have the Page of Wands. Who wants to contact you? We have the Ten of Wands, okay? So this person may have a lot of responsibilities or maybe this person has a child. Who wants to contact you? We have the Six of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to give to you, equally give to you. Who wants to contact you? We have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the King of Swords, okay? This person acts like they don't see you with the King of Swords. This is somebody who likes to, like, this is somebody who's calculative in their move before they take a leap. They don't, they think before they speak. I'm getting with the King of Swords as well. But I'm getting this person has a general, a general, generous spirit. Maybe this person is in the army because I said general. They may be in the army and the King of Swords could represent that as well. Okay, somebody who's in the army a, a, could also represent a police officer. So we have the nine of pentacles. So this person is single and abundant. This is the reason why they want to make a move towards you. Yes, we have the chariot. Okay, cancer energy. This person is determined to come towards you. They really see you as like wish fulfillment as well, even though the nine of pentacles, the, sorry, the nine of cups is not here, but I'm getting this person definitely sees you as wish fulfillment. This person is planning with the two of wands to come towards you. They're contemplating, okay, their next move. They want to be successful with you with the Wheel of Fortune here. We have 10, 10 here because we have 10 of Wands and this is 10. Maybe you see that number often, 10, 10. So I'm really getting like this person who wants to like be successful in this connection. Who wants to contact you? We have the Seven of Cups. So I'm getting this person may have a lot of options when it comes to love because I feel like this person is in a well-established position. Okay, they're sought after as well. They have a lot to bring to the table because they live a life of luxury. We have the four of wands, but it's in reverse though. Okay, who wants to contact you? Ooh, we have the Ten of Swords. That's not good. There was probably like a painful ending in a relationship with this person. And we have the Ten of Cups. A painful ending that led to a new beginning with the Ten of Cups. This person could have like, I'm getting like I said, this person could have some sort of responsibility here. Maybe this person got a divorce with the Four of Wands. Something in their life, in their personal life, is not stable. Yeah, they put something to rest with the Four of Swords. This is somebody who just got divorced or broke up with somebody with the Ten of Swords. Some sort of some painful ending happened in this person's life and it's regarding their family. Something in your their family ended, okay? So this person could be a single parent I'm getting here. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They walked away from a painful situation. And I feel like this is why this person is like kind of like calculative in their move. They don't want to jump ship too quickly out of fear of getting their heart broken. Okay, we have the four swords. Yeah, this person is taking their time to recuperate from the loss that they just experienced with the ten of swords. This person has been backstabbed and betrayed. Who wants to contact you? Ooh, this could be somebody that you work with could either be somebody that you work with or somebody from your past or this person feels like they have a past life connection with you i feel like this is somebody at your job i don't know why because i feel like this is somebody that like acts like they don't see you at work or maybe at work they're a little bit distant so you feel like they don't like you 
or they like you know they're not really fond of you but they are they just know how to mask their feelings okay they act like nonchalant in your presence okay like they don't see you like they don't care that you don't really matter that they're not paying you no mind but they are okay this person feels like you have a like um a deep soul like they feel like a, attracted to you in a deeper level but because they just came out of a relationship not too long ago or this person like just had like a painful ending with an ex now they want to take their time they want to heal from this connection before they come and step to you okay this person respects you enough to heal themselves before they come and step to you they don't want to just step to you with all their emotional baggage here this is what i'm getting from this person i feel like they're maybe dating around just to get their feet wet into the dating scene but they're not like dating anybody serious because we have the nine of pentacles this person is still single enjoying their life okay building themselves up healing their heart okay getting their their ducks in order before they make a move who wants to contact you yeah, we have the four of cups this person feels like it could be a missed opportunity with you because this person is distant or maybe this person has a lot of like i said a lot of responsibilities why do you want to contact you we have the four of wands so we have four 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 here quadruple four because we have the four of wands twice we have the four of swords and the four of cups and we have the nine of swords yeah this person's like having a lot of anxiety because they know like they see marriage with you they see a long-term success with you but because of like what they went through in the past they're worried they're scared that if they make a move that they will fail again this person is just fear failing okay they fear failure why do they want to contact you we have this four swords i put it back it came out again because they're healing I feel like this person is healing themselves. Who wants to contact you? Who wants to contact you? We have the Queen of Wands. No, why they want to contact you? Sorry. Because they see you as very attracting, very alluring. Why do you want to contact you? We have the Moon here. And we have the King of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to provide for you. They want to be the king of pentacles in your world because we have the nine of pentacles. So this person could definitely have enough money to care for someone else or to provide for someone else. And they want to be that person for you. Okay. And also with the king of pentacles, I'm getting that this person sees you as somebody who is trustworthy, who is stable, who is reliable, and they want to take that leap of faith. However, they're still scared. They're still like frightened by the experience that they just had with someone else that betrayed them. I feel like they had an experience where somebody cheated on them, broke up their trust. Okay. And then not only that, like maybe they took their money, because I'm getting like this person prides themselves in being a provider. You see? Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this person's a provider and they pride themselves in being that person. They love to provide. They love to be the person that you could depend on when it comes to financial security, financial abundance. And they want to be that person for you. That's why we have the Ace of Cups here. Like this person, like... I'm getting this is that type of person once they date somebody it's serious they don't take like they don't take it lightly why do they want to contact you we have the seven of swords in reverse why do they want to contact you four of wands why do they want to contact you they want to come clean about something that they've been hiding i feel like they were holding back their feelings for you and like I said, this person acts like nonchalant, like they don't see you. Yeah, five of cups, regret. I feel like this person, maybe they have rejected you in the past with the seven of swords or they lied about something and they got caught now and they regret it. We have four of wands three times. To one time in reverse and two times upright this is definitely soulmate twin flame vibe but i feel like the first person that they had was not their twin flame maybe this person picked someone else over you at first and now they regret it and now they want to come back because i feel like there is some sort of history between you and this person yeah there's a history i'm getting here 
and they feel like a fool for picking that person over you okay because maybe they lied about something and they got caught that they were married or something or they were seeing someone else and now that that person betrayed them they want to come back but now they feel foolish yeah they invested elsewhere this person invested elsewhere and now they want to come back and invest in you they're looking at their investment that they did with this person and they feel foolish i'm getting like now they feel like they should have picked you instead and i feel like this person doesn't know if you're going to take them back or give them a second chance okay it's really up to you we have the ace of pentacles yeah this person is solid okay they're reliable i just feel like they had like i said seven of cups they had other options so you were one of the options and they picked someone else and that option that they picked over you betrayed them okay so we're going to be using my tarot deck that i created to find out what they would like to say to you so what they would like to say to my pal number three What they would like to say to my pal number three. What they would like to say to my pal number three. What they would like to say to my pal number three. We have baby mom, ba uh, baby dad. This is fun. What they would like to say. I feel trapped you see this person was trapped in some sort of situation maybe at first they thought it was fun like with the person that they were with but maybe they had a child like i said at the beginning i felt like this person had some sort of responsibility and now maybe like when they went to the other person when they picked someone else over you because the seven of cups is here they had a baby with this person and then the, ba the person trapped them with a child and now they feel like some type of way because now they want to come back to you and then maybe you're not gonna want them anymore. Who wants to contact you? Yeah, I feel like this person feels foolish. Who wants to contact you? We have fatal attraction, wow. I feel like the person that they were with is like fatal attraction type of vibe. This is the reason why they try to trap them. I don't feel like this is them towards you. I'm not getting that vibe. What they would like to say i feel like yeah this person that they're with like knew that they were a good catch we have sex magic addiction pick up the phone they want you to pick up their phone like i feel like this person's wondering if they call you are you going to pick up the phone yeah this is why this person feels trapped because maybe this person did some sort of sex magic to trap them there's some sort of like entrapment here and this is fun i'm not getting that this is their energy i feel like this is the other person that they were with that is saying that this is fun because now this person is a baby mom or a baby dad and we have addiction attraction so i feel like this person could be addicted to like uh, it could be addicted to you okay addicted i'm not getting the devil didn't come out but maybe this person's addicted to you they're definitely attracted to you okay but they feel trapped in the connection that they were they were with. I'm struggling came out. What they would like to say to my pal number three. Why are you so mean to me? And we have divine feminine. What they would like to say to my pal number three. We have unblock me now. Maybe you block this person. What they would like to say. I can't get over you. Yeah, this person could not get over you. So not everything will resonate with you. So just take what does and leave the rest. But this person feels like you are their divine feminine or divine masculine. Okay. They feel like you are their twin flame soulmate because we have the four of wands here. And it was we here upright twice. And it was once in reverse when I got the ten of swords because they got betrayed by this person that was a false twin flame that person that trapped them with a baby and you see can we talk this person wants to talk to you i'm gonna get one more card can we talk came out again we see divine masculine let's get one card let me just can we wow can we talk they definitely want to talk to you 
this person is wondering if you're going to like pick up the phone if they call you they definitely want to talk to you this is who wants to contact you they want to have a i'm getting heart to heart conversation with you okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.